Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to a new game, Dead Water Saloon. I'd like to thank the developer and publisher at Creative uh, Storm Entertainment and Playaway SA for sending us a key to showcase the game to you guys. Now the game should be released on the 14th of September 2022. This is a game that I've had on my wish list for a while. I've been keeping an eye on it. These kind of games I love. So a little bit about the game is dive into the Wild West as a saloon owner in a volatile frontier town. Customize your character, face the consequences of your choices as you forge friendships and enemies of town's folk. Travelers, outlaws and lawmen build the most famous saloon in their territory or be overwhelmed and destroyed. Now this game is pretty damn tough. Uh, I had a little playthrough just to see what we had to do and put it this way, I died after two days. So hopefully uh, this time around we're going to last longer than a day. So here we go, let's uh, start a new game. Uh, so we need Wolf Reed, I quite like that name already. Wolf Reed, we, we might keep that. We need to look like uh, an innkeeper. I think that would do. Let's have a look who else we got. Uh, Grin. Mark Bell, let's be Mark Bell. So we've got some uh, points here that we can use uh, that we're going to need for all the different uh, events that pop up. So what are we going to be? I'm um, be gambling. Uh, there's loads that change things here. Anything that deals with stress is always a good one. Devious. Okay, serving drinks as a barkeep to Boston's Elite proved to be tougher vacation than you ever assumed. Mixology plus 30, which would be good because, you know, we, we're a pub, right? So we're going to go with these stats. Right, yeah, let's do that. So we've got 40 extra points. Abstraction. We're going to need some of this. So I'm going to put a couple of points there. Swap fair, not too worried about. Medicine will be quite handy. Cooking, we're not too worried about. Leadership could be quite important. And maybe seduction, because we can get wives and stuff. Mixology, I'm going to put up a bit. Finances. Uh, hmm. Gambling. We'll just put everything else up by a couple of points. There we go. Something like that will do for us. Let's start a new game. Well, actually, no. We want to show our avatar as well. Okay, a new beginning. You're dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in its musty smell and wonder who is more insane, the man who put such a large structure in the middle of nowhere or one who will manage it. There are a few good things uh, going for the place, however, a well-packed road passes right outside your building and there are rumours that a railroad truck will be coming soon. There is even a well for fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be a spot for a booming town one day with a bustling Main Street train station bringing in supplies and travellers and maybe... A saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. Well, we're going to see about that, won't we? So, a uh, little bit about the tutorial then. Uh, usual things, WASD to move. Or oh, we've got the mouse wheels, Qs and Es. Uh, so up here, we have personal stats. So we've got health, stress. Uh, stress is very important in the game. We're going to try and keep that as low as we can. Uh, all that kind of stuff. And how the town's opinion of our character. Above here, we're going to find stats like his. How much money we start with, how much we're losing. Uh, customers and storage of course and this side we're going to see all the items that we have in storage down here you can see the saloon ratings so currently uh, you wouldn't yeah, not rated very well and this is the build menu so you've got floor toggles build edit all that kind of good stuff so let's toggle here is our saloon here is our man Mark Bell uh, okay so we want to build our first thing probably in here so you can see the items available, we suggest building a barrel trunk to increase storage, but you can choose to build whatever you want. Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got quite a lot of cool things that I can't look through yet. Uh, so we need to do what it wants us to do. Let's, uh, let's build a trunk. And actually, uh, place anywhere you want. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, you know what? How about we do a big keg? Now, I'm trying to think about how we're going to organize this place. So let's put a beer keg down here in the corner for now. And that is the end of that tutorial. So that's fine. So we need a few things, don't we? We need a bar. Do we just go cheap and cheerful? What's the daily upkeep on these things? It doesn't tell you. So we could go for mahogany and mahogany, wood, oak, walnut. 
Okay, let's go for a wooden back bar. Jesus, that does look terrible, doesn't it? Is that on the wall? It is. And uh, let's put in a cheap bar for now. We don't need to go crazy expensive uh, because it's quite hard to make money in the beginning. Uh, okay, that fits quite well, apparently. So we'll take that for the for the minute. Uh, we'll go into here then. So we've got lots of other cool things that we can do. We can get safes, trunks, bids, so all this stuff is storage. Obviously, we're going to want a small kitchen of some sort as well. Um, so let's go for the medium stuff for that. So we're going to have an open kitchen for maybe for the minute. So we'll have you down there. Oh, hang on, maybe we don't want an open kitchen. Oh, a shanty has been constructed right alongside your saloon. Nice. Uh, so we can buy our first things from this person. So we also have researched. So we need to research our booze and we got rock gut will be first. Uh, so let's get that researched because we can't do anything without that. So I do have the stove. Hang on, where were we with this? Kitchen shelving. We can uh, put you in here. There we go. And what else can go in the kitchen? Cutting table, was that for the kitchen? 10 food, okay. So how about, yeah, we'll keep an open kitchen for now because I think it looks pretty cool, right? There we go, so the chef can work in here, the barman can work in here. What have we got here? Missing, missing, yep, yeah, because we need to do stuff. So here we go, here's our stuff. So we can have prostitutes, bouncers, uh, groupiers, servers, pianos, cooks, barkeeps. We have no local staff available, but we can bring in people, okay? Uh, so this bar keeps 6.41 an hour, 2.75. We, we need to go cheap and cheerful. It's going to cost me 50 just to bring him in. And a cook, 183. Again, we've got no local staff at the moment. We might change that around later on. Okay, so staff will come in eventually. Uh, what else we got there? So we've got structure-wise, we can build upstairs and all this other kind of good stuff. Entertainment, we've got stuff here for entertainment to keep people busy. Lots of decors. Furnitures and lightings, these are all pretty important stuff. We're going to start with furniture. We're going to get some tables and chairs. Now, they're the same price, really, aren't they? Let's get the black ones. The black ones look pretty damn cool. That bar does look crap, doesn't it? Okay, so for the meantime, I think two tables will probably get us through what we want. Let's have a look at our lighting. So, plus one, plus one. Oh, look, there's can. Can we put these candles on the table? Tiffany lamps. Oh yeah, look at that. Our refinement's now gone up. Can we put one on the bar? Doesn't seem like we can. But look, we can up here, and the place will probably burn down. Uh, where's the other one? There we go, the three in it. Look at all those candles. What a beautiful place we have. Uh, but yeah, seriously, we need to put up bigger lighting. So what have we got? I think we'll just go cheap and cheerful here. Let's go for the antlers. I want to look over it so I can see what I'm actually doing. Our staff aren't in, so we can't actually do anything anyways. Right, so we put a light there. Light there. One there. One over the bar. And one for the chef. Okay, for now, I think that'll do us for the light. Overall, we're not doing too bad. There's no entertainment currently. Well, you know what? Let's put in a piano. Everyone loves a good old piano. Like so. I also quite like the fireplace here. I could go for a modest one. I mean, that looks very modest. Can it go in this gap? What that? Oh, uh, okay, that's the back wall of it. Okay, I see. We, we need to flip it around then. Okay, so it can't go anywhere along there because of the tables, but it can go down here. Okay, and you know what we can do then is we could put some... A couch? This can be like a, a nice little private 
area with the fire. Look at that. That'd be lovely. Maybe we should put it in front of the fire. I don't know if people will actually will sit on it though. Ah, we'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. And we'll make it nice so we can put some little tables and stuff around it. And what about bar stools? Will people sit on them? I can't put them in the bar area though. Right. Uh okay, maybe we can. They gotta be turned around. No, that's gonna be the forward facing, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I get ya. Okay, let's have a look at our decor then. What about a rug? By the fireplace. Okay, I'm not going to spend any more money. We've got 400 left in the bank. This guy's now opened. Uh, so look, we can buy stuff from this person. Beer. And food. So that gives us something to play with at least. Uh, to start with. Well, how much have we got? 700. You know what, let's get another... Uh, run out of action points. So everything runs on these action points. I have no more for the day, so... We need to speed time up. Now, we will get stressed over time. That is normal. Uh, if we make things like a profit and stuff, he'll be okay. He'll he'll be still happy. Um, but this is very difficult. Here we go. Here's our staff. Oh, a blacksmith. Prepare for the morning's staff news interrupted by a clanging of metal and hammers. But rest sure the trade-off by having local blacksmiths will be tenfold with their forge, bellows, and anvil. They'll provide nails, horseshoes, and firearms. Ooh. And it'll come to the local economy. Oh, uh, what? Oh, we can play horseshoes. Oh, it reduces our stress. Horseshoe one. Oh, we need a horse. Oh, okay. So clearly I can buy a horse, right? And if I buy the nails, 25% construction costs are down. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, look, we got our staff in. Uh, nobody, Nobody's come into our bar yet. Let's have a look at our staff. Is there anybody in the... We've got a bouncer in the village. Not really good enough for us. I'm looking for a pianoist. Because that's going to help with the fun. But at the moment, these two are pretty cheap. Uh, we're not making any money at the moment. So we can still do more research. Uh, we haven't actually researched any food yet. So I've got booze now. We've got rock gut. And that's it. So we can sell booze but no food. But we do have our blacksmith. So we can... Play this to reduce 10 stress when needed. We've got to keep an eye on the stress. Uh, we've got four action points for the day. Do we have any new staff? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Okay. So we're only losing $12 a day at the moment. It's okay. Hopefully we'll start soon getting some people in. Here we go. Our first ladies are in. They're going to have some... Uh... Oh, and we've researched the recipe. So let's get the booze up to fire water. Because you can see that we can charge more. Now we can change the prices, but it affects how people think about us. So right now, this is okay. Uh, we've got 200 booze. Got plenty of storage still. What I want to see is us making a profit. Now the chef can make food now. Here you go, look, play foods on the side. Yeah, look. Now, because it's cheap stuff, it's not making lots of money, but it's making money. We're a little stressed about it, though. So we can move our guy, but he can't do anything, which is a little bit of a shame. We'll put him by the fire there. Okay, we've got a new recipe that can be researched. Let's get dill pickles then. So they got more choice. So we've made half of our money. 7 p.m. There is one new customer there. Staff wise, we do have a piano player, an expensive piano player, we'll leave it for the minute. People are coming in, that's the main thing. The town opinion is of 41. Now this is where things go wrong. Adam Zen has just learned to ask if you might join them in the hunt for some new hides. They know the herd of buffalo drinking by the river north of the town. Join the hunt, I've got no firepower but versus animal strength. Tell them no, but negotiate a price for the meat acquired, pushing for two dollars. Or say no. 
we're going to say no for now because I don't want their opinion to change too much until we've researched uh, some new stuff. Let's get our tangled leg. How's our stress looking? We're nearly at 10. How many action points we got for the day? So let's play some horseshoe. We'll bring this back down to 10. I can't play it for 72 more hours though. Okay, that's fine. But we do have people eating. I wonder if we put in a third table. Will that make things get a bit busier? I get worried about spending too much money, but there you go. We'll put a candle on there. We could probably uh, dress this place up a little bit more. Okay, we want a hat hanger? They can ha hang their hat as they come in the door. And uh, what have we got here? Paintings are pretty cheap. Cow skull. Wanted poster. You can't go into a bar without having a, a wanted poster, right? And uh, we've got a painting here. We'll put the painting down. Okay, that makes our refinement go up a little bit. Let's have a look at staff. Anybody in town? We do have a bouncer in town. Stanley Brooks, he is a cheaper piano player than this guy. Let's get him in. We may fire him if we start losing too much money. Okay, here we go. What have we got? We've got 162 beer, we've got 189 food still. Okay, you're going about your day, mind your own business, when you're all of a sudden witness to Adams the Trapper standing outside naked, basking in the sun, privates out and all. Oh, God. Uh, threaten to sue them if they don't cover themselves up. I've got good litigious, but I don't want to do that. Walk out and yell at them to grow up and cover up. Avert your eyes and convince yourself you didn't see anything. <laughs> uh, shout them to cover up in the name of the Lord. Take your own clothes off and join them. Ooh. Much as I'd love to do that. Because we can get married. Shall we try it? Ah. We're stressed and now she doesn't like me. That's why I don't like these things. Uh, okay, well, let's go to our man. So we can eat and drink alcohol and stuff. We've got one more action point for the day. So look, we might as well just eat another one. There we go. There, yeah, that didn't go to plan. Oh, she doesn't like us. Now, we can do other bits and pieces. Look, we can befriend them. Let's befriend them. You offer money to like them, but I'm quite tempted to try this, but it's very low. Hey, look, we're friends. We're, look, the, the friendlier we are, the more that we can do, the cheaper that we can still buy stuff. I'm going to get some more beer while we can. <laughs> um, okay, $300 left. A piano player should be in soon. Because the entertainment is very low in here at the moment. Muscle's low too, wow. Cool, you know the one thing we should get is a safe. I don't have my own office yet, but that means the staff can't steal from me. So we spent quite a bit of money again today. Got plenty of stock. We can now research some new things. Uh, we can get this pemmican. So we'll make more money per... Drinking increases. Okay, so the food will increase. Where's our food? Food and drink is actually not bad. People kind of like us, right? There you go. He's playing his piano. That's quite nice. Uh, wages are looking like they're about 20. So what I keep doing, look for staff. If there's anyone in town that's cheap, I don't mind hiring them. Now, the one thing we could do is build a brothel early down here, maybe. 
Okay, let's get some more booze then. What's next on the food list? Roasted jackrabbit. I guess two on the food. Food is already pretty good, so let's keep going with the drink then. Uh, so we'll get the Panther's Piss. So even the people that come in, I can talk to them and stuff if they're not travelers. But here you go, these are just travelers. I can't do anything with them. I can remove them. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do. Now, herself. Can I marry her now? Oh, romance has succeeded. Nice. Hey, there's good service around here. People are enjoying the pub. And we're not stressed. That makes things even better. This is not a bad start compared to my little practice game that I did. Uh, this is alright. Keeping it pretty basic. Making some money. I don't know how you got three dishes between two of you. You must be hungry. Now remember, I brought stuff today. If I didn't buy stuff, I'd say that we were actually were making money. And a poor woman seems homesick from her family east. Oh well, look, I'm right, gonna try and cheer up. It's gonna fail. Not much I can do. My fame is low. How do I get my fame up? See, the thing is, is things like this. I don't know how to get this up. Now we can also buy these businesses, guys, as well. Um, it'll cost a couple of grand probably per business, so that is something that we can do. Uh, and again, we can make friends with other people. I've got no fame stories. How do I get a fame story? Investigate. What does this do? We can blackmail. Well, currently we're in the good book, so maybe we should wait till we get some other people... Uh, people that eat in these houses, these are the people that we should go and try and find dirt on. Ah, this is our, our girlfriend here that we, we, we can actually propose if we wanted to. But it's not her who I'm going to go after. You're a traveller? You're a traveller. Hey, we're doing alright. Bearded Traveller bursts into the front of your establishment. He's gasping, desperate pilgrim. I got me a cow giving birth just outside. It's breached. I need a hand if you can spare one. You step outside, seeing the legs of a calf heaving out of its mother's ass. The man points to you and grabs hold of the leg. You can see the cow has spooked, rustling back and forth. Jesus Christ. Right. We're not very good at other things, so we're going to have to go with the mixology here. And it's a success. Ah, fame went up. Yeah, we've got two fame points. I'm thinking maybe we need more tables and chairs. Okay, let's have a look at the staff. Because as soon as we find someone in town that I can use, we're going to take them. Nope. I mean, there's still plenty of chairs. It looks like people just sit with anybody. Ah, oh, what the hell? All right, well, she likes me. Cost me 50 quid. Stanley Brooks seems to have lost their rhythm. Botching songs as bad as you wanted that you knew how to play the piano at all. Okay, let's give him a drink. Success. He's doing all right. I suppose if you're drunk, it doesn't matter what you're playing. So far, so good. I think we're doing all right. I think the temptation is now to put in another table. How about we put in another beer keg down here in this corner? We're going to get our storage up a little bit. I think it's something that we probably should worry about. And... Backroom shelf, what do you give me? Oh, 200 storage. Bedroom shelf. Ah, oh, okay. Sacks as well. The sacks will look pretty cool down here. Because they're in the kitchen, right? Uh, what was I actually looking for? <laughs> I have no idea. Structure stuff. I mean, I like to do the wallpaper, but I don't know how much it's going to cost us. We've got some entertainment. 
Is it worth throwing in a dartboard? I don't know. Square rug, rug square, long. How long's a long? Oh wow, that would look pretty cool here, I think. We could put some um, windows in. Maybe that will lighten the place up a bit too. I don't know if that actually helps. Okay, we just spent a lot of money that we didn't have. Drunken dispute between two horse traders. Ugh. See, I hate that you don't get a cho choice. Failed. Service ain't bad. Is there anybody in town yet? Bouncers. Barkeep, barkeep, prostitute. She's cheap. Let's buy her. Now what I'm going to do is make a room for her downstairs. I would have preferred maybe to make one upstairs. I think we have enough money. It might be worth, you know, just putting in the bed down here so everyone can see. For the time being. I don't think it matters. Bedroom shelf. I think this gives us storage as well. Yeah, 200 storage just for this little shelf. Crazy. I mean, I suppose I could make that into a room. Not that bad. And we can put a door on it because they can't work otherwise, can they? Right in the corner. It's going to need a light. Let's put the antlers in. There we go. So we all have our first room. Now that's going to produce some more entertainment for people. Spending a lot of money again, though. Got to be careful with this money spending. More research. Get, have I done all the booze? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get the uh, Jackrabbit game now. How's our staff looking? I'm not too stressed, actually. He's a bouncer in town, but he's a bit expensive. Okay, look, she's in her room. She's jiggling away in there. How much do people pay for a night with her? What did he say? No gambling. Can't win, can you? Now, we can put in a gambling table as well, but I need to be making a bit more of a profit. Right now, things are not looking good. I need, I need, some, I need some men to come in here to use my wench. Okay, so 25 quid a day now is what looks like what we need to make per day. 5 p.m. already, wow. Bit of quail, wild goose. Yeah, I don't think it matters what we use. But I think before our money runs out, maybe we should get some more of this. Hey! Someone likes us. I don't know if anyone actually goes in there. Does she have everything she needs? I don't know. I'm just going to assume yes. Okay, disallowed piano playing. Well, currently that's allowed. Closed doors, we don't do that. Free bar, definitely don't want to be doing that. Prices adjust. Okay, so I can't adjust the, the prostitute. Now, I can use her myself, I think. Rumor band, outlaws are sweeping through the region, robbing and slaughtering as they go. Danger is on the horizon. Okay, now maybe it's time that we get a bouncer. That's expensive. Now, for my stress, we can now use this. There we go. Don't have any guns, no. 
He makes guns, right? Yeah, let's get two Colts. <laughs> we know things are on the horizon, so let's assign. When my bouncer comes in, we'll give him a gun too, right? Here he is. Can I give him a gun? No. I don't give any of my staff guns. Okay, so it's just me with the gun. Okay, great. People like the refinement though. More stuff can be researched. We might as well just keep going with whatever is down here. This will make us more money, so I'm a squirrel. Victoria's leveled up. Are you doing anything, girl? I don't know, is her room big enough? Hey, delightful blind baker bakers ride in town to provide delicious grains and desserts. Food stuff in the western frontier country. Nice, where are you building? How are you building up there? A wise man comes to the road and tells you it takes a steadiest mind to know how to properly serve grub. Okay. What does the baker give us? Grains. Or dessert. Sponsored cooking fair. I mean, what does the grain give me? How much? Let's get the grain in. I think... We get new research, right? Desserts for bakery. Ash cakes. Okay, well, we're waiting for our squirrel to be done first. And that'll give us some new stuff. That might help us because we are in the uh, in a bit of trouble here. White rice in the house. Oh, sugar. Let the house burn. I don't really want to do that. But this is not going to go well, is it? Oh, for frick's sake. I can't win. I should have just tried to help. Maybe she would have been happy with just trying. So this is just entertainment. It doesn't make me any money. It just costs me money, but it makes people happy. Right, I think we'll leave this first episode here. Oh, we've got new recipes that can be researched. So we will... Hang on, grains and desserts. Ah. Eggs with grain. Sourdough biscuits. Okay, so we can sell something different, obviously, now. So there we go, we're going to leave it there. Uh, we're doing okay. I'm starting to get a bit stressed. We're going to have to do something with this. Um, don't have any tobacco yet, so we can... We can use our wench. We can eat something, I suppose. What she's there for. If you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. Uh, come subscribe if you're new. And if you really like this game, you know, please do let me know and we'll continue on with this series. Uh, big thank you again to Playaway SA for sending us the key. And that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.